What kind of kid were you? Fucked up one. Yeah, right? Yeah. Like, my friends had, like, posters of, like, Pamela Anderson and stuff on their walls, and I had, like, a poster of Naomi Klein. The winner of this year's DGC Discovery Award. He's a bold new voice in Canadian filmmaking. Wayne Wapimakwa. My house, I actually, I grew up down the hill from where my dad grew up in, on the farm in Langley, where I'm from. And the house that I grew up in was built by him and my maternal grandpa. So it was actually, because my dad's a plumber, it was a really weird house. It had like a sink and a bathroom in every single room because he thought that that was important, I suppose. It was one level, really flat, and I didn't really realize how absurd of a place it was until I actually grew up a little and went to other people's houses and they commented on how weird my house was. But it always had a homely feel because it came from our family and had been in our family for a few generations. Yeah, I remember my mother when I was like nine, she like said to me in like a very derisive way, she was like, what are you, an existentialist or something? So I looked up what the word existentialism meant, and then I started reading Camus. Uh, I got in trouble a lot as a kid. I was in the principal's office frequently. I was bullied a lot in high school, for good reason too. I was a, I was a dipshit and uh, wore like really weird stuff. But um, I found solace in the in my film studio and in high school, um, like a normal ass public high school in the middle of farm country but we had a really exceptional film program with a very perverted film teacher who showed me Lars von Trier when I was 13. What Lons, which Lars von Trier? Dogville. And so I grew up as, I, go, I went through puberty at the same time as I was watching um, European, contemporary European cinema and David Lynch. And so that was a kind of outlet for me to work through a lot of the, um, the troubles I was going through at the time, yeah. You were born in Langley. Yeah. Um, what did your mom and dad do? My mom was a, a primary school teacher. She taught uh, sixth and seventh grade. And uh, my dad was a plumber. And you have one older brother? Younger brother, younger, oh, younger brother. brother. Yeah, former professional golfer, now turned marketing specialist. Yeah. Um, Wapimakwa. Yeah. Where did the name come from? What does it mean? So it, it's an anglicism, actually. Um, it was the name given to... Um, one of my great-great-grandfathers um, by a colonist. He was a Cree man who married a Métis lady, and then they had a, long, a bunch of Métis kids that went on to start my entire family. And the name itself signifies for me a, a symbolic change that I decided to take a few years ago from a violent legacy that my father inherited from his family that I did not want to be a part of and decided to make a symbolic change in order to distance myself from a legacy of, of physical and sexual violence that I did not want to partake in. So you, did, you, did you go to film school? Kind of. Um, I went to York University for a year and then uh, dropped out because of my ego um, and then went into philosophy, which is like for egotistical pricks <laughs> that are men. So you know what I'm saying. You guys, I'm sure you know some philosophy bros, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Um, but like my film education was in high school. I had a very rigorous education in high school. Um, you know, like we, we studied in eighth grade. We studied um, advertisements and marketing, which is when I got introduced to like things like ad busters and media literacy. In ninth grade, we studied genre cinema, you know, being tested on like Alien and Halloween. And our exam film that year was Mystery Train, which was a good segue into uh, the next year, which was non-genre cinema. Our first film we watched that year was The Celebration. And then in 11th and 12th grade, we focused on world cinema and francophone cinema. So, you know, the building blocks of my film education were always set in high school. Like we started not only just watching these kinds of movies, but learning the rubrics for grammar. So like in ninth grade, our assignments were like match on action cuts and eyeline matches. And so like just kind of learning like the sentential sets that go into making a movie and then building that as you learn the theory as you go. That was the education I received, yeah.